Hi, my name is Torben Weber. In this video, I will be giving you a brief overview of how our system works. So, let's get started. All right, so let's get started with the reader demo. Here, I will show you how the end user is presented with information. So when we log in, we will be presented with different categories, like unread documents. Here, all documents that have gone through a revision will be presented, so that you know that there is documentation that still has to be read. Let's now go into one of these documents, like this SMS AN, revision 33. When we open that document, we can now see that we are in this manual, and we can simply scroll down through our whole document. We can see that all links are functional, so if I click, for example, list of effective pages, it jumps right to this page. On a page level, there is some functionality as well. Like comments, this makes references to the user comments. Each user can make comments on a page level. We also have change requests that will create a task for the editor, and we have favorites. This will mark a page's favorite and will remain so throughout any revision, as long as the information is not removed in the next revision. Another great feature is the delta sign. When you click it, you can see what has been added or removed since the last revision, as well as the revision bar, which is automatically added. Finally, in this view, we have some navigation tools at the bottom. Here, you can navigate to the next page, next page with changes, to the next editor comment, to the next chapter, or to the last page. Since we already read this document, I can simply click on accept. And now I can fill in that I have understood the content of this manual. By doing so, if we go back to the dashboard, I can now see that this document has been removed from my unread list, because now it is considered a read document. So that was it for the short overview of the reader. Next up, I will show you how you can edit your documents. So once we're logged in as an editor, we will be presented with a similar dashboard, but with more relevant fields for us. Like the last edited documents. In this case, we can see that we already have been working on this document. So let's go ahead and keep on editing this one. We can see that we already are working on revision 50. So what we need to do now is to scroll to the page where we would like to edit and put this particular page in draft. By doing so, I can see that the revision number and the revision date have been updated. Once we have done that, we can go into the text box section by clicking on it. We can simply remove the word safety and replace it for the word security. And after the changes are done, we will save the change, which will add a revision bar and a delta icon. Now we can put the page into the next step, which is review. Now, somebody with access to review will be notified, and then they can either accept or reject changes, which allows us to move into the next step of our life cycle, publishing. Then we can publish and make this document available to the readers. So now that you know how to make simple changes, let me show you how to add a new page and make use of our smart content modules. So we will scroll to the bottom of our page and click on the plus icon. By doing so, this will add a page below. Now we have an empty page that we can start working on. We will go to the right hand side and click on this icon. And here we would like to add a list of effective pages. So we click list of effective pages and the system will present us with a few options. Let's go with default. And that was it. You can see that our list of effective pages is now created and it will always be updated along with future revisions. Lastly, we simply have to click save and put this page into our next step in the revision process, the review step. Now I would like to show you how to connect your regulations to your documents. To do this, we go to the left side under compliance. We expand it. Here we can see all our available regulations. Let's select the EASA Air Ops part cat. When we click on it, it will open a new tab, and here all regulations are showcased. We can expand it. Here we can see all of the requirements by the paragraphs and the sub-requirements. And here we can link them to our documents. Simply click on the link icon. Here we can see which document we would like to connect this to. In this case, we select our safety management system. We can choose what heading this will be connected to as well. 
Let's select the chapter number two. We can also add a responsible user. This means that this user will be notified whenever there are changes or amendments. I will choose my colleague for this one. And we can set a start date for when this regulation is applicable. Now I click on add. Now I can see that there is a connection created between our document and the regulation. This will mean that I will always receive notifications whenever there is a change or amendment to a regulation that affects my manuals. So that was it for the short overview. If you want a more detailed overview, I would suggest checking out this webinar by my colleague Emil Login. It's a full overview of our entire system and it's available for free on demand on our website. You can also book a personalized demo and we would be more than happy to show the system for you and answer any questions that you might have. Thank you so much for watching.